few orders to pack, a few things to list, I thought I'd go live, have a little chat with everyone. If the quality of the video is terrible again, then this won't last very long, but well, I thought I'd give it another go. Um, in upcoming 9.43, what the fuck? There we go. The quality looks alright, to be fair. Right, let's see what we've got to post. Hello, whoever's just joined. Right, we've got seven items to pack. Coming to a total of £171. Loads of little, little bits really, nothing major. But one ninety pound sale, and the rest are like fivers, tenners. So let me get some of this crap out of the way. Just been charging all this stuff. I like got a car boot on Saturday. Loads of decent bits here. Loads of consoles. 3DS there. So in total on Saturday I came away with two DSs, a 3DS XL, Tribal Game Boy. Uh, I paid 60 quid for all that plus a load of other stuff. Two portable DVD players. I paid a fiver for both of them. I've charged them up. They both work fine. Should be able to get about 60 quid for them. They all came with the chargers. Get them out of the way. There's the chargers there. Just check the chat. Hello, Mark. How's it going? I'm doing well. Yeah, the connection's looking right today, so hopefully this will last. Last time everyone kept leaving because it looked like I was filming it on a potato. Got no music on today either because last time I had music on and I got the last two lives I've done, I got two copyright strikes. So I don't want that. Alright, I need to get these out of the way. I bought these at the car boot as well. Bit of a fail to be honest. Um, paid a tenner for these. I always buy job lots of these cards, hoping that there'll be some nice ones in there. But none. There wasn't any great ones. They're all worth about a pound or two each. I still make some money. I've job lot them for about 25 quid. A few more there. Right. Get them out of the way. Yeah, just play reggae yourselves and then it'll be like the same thing. Perhaps I should put some headphones on. Right, let's get the orders picked. Box D, Sega Mega Drive, Techno Clash. Um, Mega Drive game, that sold. It's in rubbish, terrible condition. But I sold that for £14. It's all profit now because the bundle that I bought that in is all paid for itself now. Box L Slammers Pog Tube. I hate working without music on, it's terrible. This sort of pog tube, just an empty tube, 12 pounds, including postage. That's all profit now as well. Got anything else in this box? 
yes this sale has gone to a subscriber That is a Matchbox Stingray Thunderbirds figure that sold for £4.1p and plus postage. That's all profit as well. Right. <clears throat> What's next? Next one is not skewed up. Luckily, I know where that is. Vintage wood plane. Actually, that might even be antique. I'm not sure. It is antique. That sold for £12. All profit now as well. Right, box J. <clears throat> oh, I hate going through this bag. And if you can see them, those are the remotes that I've been going on about on Instagram. I'm going to make a video about these because these are a bolo. These are a very easily available bolo item that almost every reseller overlooks. You can get these so easily, so cheap, and they sell very fast and for good money. So I think that's actually the one I've sold. Humax, let me just check the pictures. I think that's it. That sold for 22 pounds. And how many of them do you see at car boots in random bags for 50p? I get these off a of contact. He gets me bags and bags of them. I pay someone a pound each to test them and clean them. And I'm selling them for fivers, tenors, 20, 25. Some of them go for 35. It's crazy. And I can get absolutely hundreds of these. So if I was you, I'd be on the lookout for these. Literally, just any branded remotes. There could be TV remotes, DVD remotes, VCR, no, not VCR, VHS, stereo systems. Vintage ones seem to do really well, even modern ones. But I only buy them or sell them if they're branded, like Sony, Panasonic, Philips, stuff like that. Things like this, I have listed that because it's brand new, but that's not branded and I probably won't sell that. It's like a universal one, so don't bother with them. But any anything else, these are all listed for at least a fiver each and they only cost me about a pound each. Um, is that the right one? I've lost it now. Where is it? Humax. This is about the only thing I do multi-listings with as well, because I get multiples of the same one. I think that's it. Yeah. £19 plus postage. That. Morning RG Fitness. Been loving the new channel, thank you very much. Glad you like it. Yeah, I have mixed opinions on the new channel. Some people think it's, they don't like it. They think it's like dirty, trampy, but I don't give a shit because I'm making loads of money and it's good fun. And it's good for the environment, saving stuff from the landfill. Speaking of the new channel, You probably saw me finding that 925 silver bracelet in the bin. I took that to the jewelers the other day. Uh, solid silver. They offered me £3.50 for it. So I said no. 
But then she said, oh, if you put it on eBay, you'll get about 50 quid for it. So I was like, well, obviously I'm going to do that. So I'm going to be putting that on eBay today. Hopefully get 50 quid for that. So that'll be 25 for me and 25 for my mate. <clears throat> um, right, we sold any more remotes? Not today, but I have been selling a lot of these. You can even sell the broken ones. So once these have been tested, any that don't work, so I've got an RF tester. So basically you put batteries in, you press all the buttons, and if, if the button works, the light on the tester will come on. So we'll go through all the buttons, test everyone. If there's one button that doesn't work, it'll go in the broken pile. But the broken pile, I've been taken up to an auction and they still sell, or you can put them on eBay, job lots of spares repairs, and they still sell for about a pound each. I'm happy to make a video about it as well because there's so many of them out there, I'm not really going to be creating competition for myself because there's just thousands of them out there. Um, next what is next box M hey looking in this box Corgi Juniors Ford Transit van that was an easy, quick find. Normally it takes me ages to do that. Let's check that's the right one. Yeah. That sold for six pounds. <clears throat> I need to have a clear out of that box because I've got loads in there that have been listed for ages and not sold so i'm going to just do a big job lot soon i think right last sale is box g and that is a ps3 with 23 games I've unloaded all my fodder PS3 games with this just to get rid of them. These are all just crappy titles, nothing good really. But when I add these to the listing, the way I value them up on the listing, I either put them on, I'll count them and then I'll put them up as a pound each or two pound each. Um, I think there was 23 games. I think I added about 30 quid on top of the value of the console. So the console's about 50, 30 for the games. No, 40 even for the games. Yeah, I must have done them at two pound each, even though they're not even worth that, but it's still sold. Uh, so that's 98 pounds in total with the shipping. That was in my um, faulty pile, that controller. I've got loads of these. I didn't have any working ones, but I needed one to put with this. Um, and that was very easy to fix. I looked on YouTube how to fix these. What was the issue? The issue was, which is very common with these, when you plug it in, it's like all the buttons are pressing themselves. And if you ever get one like that, all you've got to do is take it apart and just clean the contacts. There's a little, like ribbon cable you undo it clean it with alcohol put it back together and that fixed it i fixed about five of these doing that it took me like two minutes so it's a nice little tip if you have faulty ones of them okay that's the cables i really want to put some music on i hate working in silence 
I want YouTube to pay me money. So. Right, let's do the little stuff first. Let me check the chat. Okay. Is the audio even on? Can everyone hear me? No audio on my computer for some reason. Yeah, you can. Okay, cool. Um, what are we doing first? I ran out of large letterboxes, which is annoying me. Let's do the easy stuff first. Do that. Do, 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 do. Anyone been back to a car boot sale yet? Did my first one on Saturday and I absolutely loved it. I spent, I think about 190 pounds. The value comes to about 1500, which is amazing. And I am making a video of it which will be out probably Saturday or Sunday. So if you think this channel is dead, it's not. I am going to start making videos again. They will probably mostly be car boot videos. Thank you, Nasir. Appreciate it. You can find some. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Royal with free music. Yeah, that's a good idea. Mm, yeah, I'm going to do that now. Um, probably won't be anything I like. It's better than silence. Anyone know a website where I can find stuff like that? Without having to download it. Mate, I tell you what, I am not finding anything on Facebook Marketplace anymore. It's really getting quite annoying. buyer that can't fill out his own address correctly excellent what does that weigh it's under a kg i don't need to weigh that every standard drop half print label still get striped probably don't want to risk it to be fair I had to delete my last two live videos I don't want my channel getting banned does anyone else do this put the label on before you put the thing in the jiffy bag because it's difficult to stick a label on an unflat package Yes, the quality is good today, luckily. I reset my internet before I started today. Hopefully it should be all right. It's a shame because that, I was showing all the stuff I found at the car boot, which was all quite decent stuff. I think a lot of people would have enjoyed watching that. But everyone turned it off because the quality was absolutely shocking. restocked myself a load of clear tape a couple of weeks ago at the car boot I think I've got about 20 rolls of that for a fiver I don't think I've ever bought tape online 
I always get it at car boots. I'm going to need some printer labels soon. I don't even know where to get them from. The ones I'm using now, I got given by a subscriber, which is very kind of them, but I think I'm going to run out soon. Right, that's done. Who's next? Might do a little giveaway or something today. What do you reckon? Do a little prize somehow. Not sure how or what. I'm sure I can think of something. Comment in the chat something you want to win. Obviously within reason, I'm not giving away like boxed nezzes or anything. Do a giveaway of a game or I don't know, a little figure or something, a toy car. What else have I got? Uh A load of PS2 games I could give away. I tell you what, that's the giveaway. I'm going to do five fodderish games from my unlisted shelf. So I've got PS2, Wii, Xbox 360. PS4 and Xbox One. Comment in the chat what you want. And whichever one gets the most win uh, comments, I'll do that. That'll be the giveaway. I don't know how I'm going to give them away yet. We'll think of something. Improvise. Amazon have wrote a free playlist available. Okay, I want to try that. Uh, I can't do Switch games, unfortunately. I don't have any vouchers at the moment. Hello, Steph. Mm, I do have these. But I'm not giving them away. <laughs> I kind of regret buying them. These are on... Um, What's it? On offer, Argos. They've got a deal on at the minute. You can buy two, any any two Switch games, I think, for £20. And these are the most expensive ones they sell, which are £22 each normally. So I bought eight of them for 80 quid. I kind of regret it though. If I was on Amazon, these would be banging to send to Amazon because Amazon sell them for £22 each. And all I would have to do is ship them off to Amazon and they do all the work. But I'm not set up with Amazon yet. I am going to be. I've just got a lot on at the minute. But yeah, I kind of regret buying them because on eBay they sell for like 15 including postage. So it would cost about three quid to post that. And by the time I took the fees off, I'll break even. So... I might even return them. Unless anyone wants to buy them off me now. 100 quid. Bargain. Actually, you're not going to do that because you can just get it from Argos. Shouldn't have told you that. <clears throat> um, how's the bin dipping going? The bin dipping's very good. My entire van is rammed floor to ceiling with stuff. 
So I need to get to a car boot sale, get selling it. Might be going out tonight. I'm going to try and make some more room, but we we find so much stuff that I might have to pull some of it out so we can go out again. Yeah, I'm glad it's car boot season again. I'm going to be going to probably two every week. Hundred remotes for a fiver. Yeah, mate, that's a bargain. I'd pick that up all day long. Yeah, they'll sell for a fiver each, most of them, or more. Where am I from? I'm from England. That's why I've got a perfect English accent. <laughs> Hi, Alex. How is it going? Right, uh, what was I doing? ADHD. Forgot what I was doing. Oh, that would have probably gone as a large letter, you know. Oh, well. Every it is. <clears throat> um, I live in Bedfordshire, which is like about... 10 minutes away from Luton, the worst town in England, or in the UK even. Luckily, the town I live in is quite nice. Xbox games for free, nice, can't beat free. Hello Rob, how's it going? Do English people Good with Muslims. Depends, mate. Some of them, not so much, but I'm cool with everyone I meet, as long as they call me. Yeah, I'm good, Rob. Very good. I've been slacking a little bit with eBay recently. I've been doing like the bare minimum. Five listings a day. I've been coming in, doing my packing, five listings a day and then going out of the shed to do other stuff but now the car boots are back on i've ramped it up a little bit i'm doing 10 a day now i'll probably <clears throat> ramp that up a bit more even well i've been doing more than 10 a day i've been doing about 15 and then listing 10 putting the rest in the draft bank so that I, <clears throat> when it gets to the weekend and i'm not working i can take from my draft bank and still upload 10 a day Uploading every day is probably the most important thing with eBay to get consistent sales. And it's something I've been struggling with at the weekends because I do not want to work on weekends. But now that I've got more stuff coming in, I've been struggling for stock because um, I'm not finding anything on Facebook at the minute. The auction, I don't like going to the auction because everything goes for too much money. I only go there if I'm like desperate. And you can get good things there, but it's a lot of work because you have to walk around and look in every single box, trying to find little hidden gems. And then you've got to like go there and stand around all day waiting for your auctions to finish. And it's just not really worth it, to be honest. Now the car boots are on. I probably won't be going auctions at all. They're like a last resort, really. Because the stuff I buy, which is mainly gaming stuff, there's too much competition at an auction. You've got like 50 other people bidding on stuff. One minute. <clears throat> Um, 
happy, I mean, I don't celebrate Ramadan, but happy Ramadan to you. Uh, what? <laughs> I'm not Australian. <laughs> I wish I lived in Australia. I'm from England. Having given up carpentry, have you found this business more beneficial financially? No. I make less money now than I was make. I was making a lot of money doing carpentry. I was making probably minimum a thousand pound a week upwards so sometimes i was making like two thousand pounds in a week or in like three days but i worked for myself and i didn't always have work every day so even though i was earning a lot of money when i was working it wasn't consistent because i didn't always yeah you, you have to have work booked in every day but <clears throat> i'm earning less money now but i'm I like doing this more. I was absolutely miserable doing carpentry. I hate it. I got to the point where I absolutely hated it. And I would rather earn less money and enjoy my job than make loads of money and be absolutely miserable. Money isn't everything. <clears throat> the thing is, you can make a lot of money reselling. Um, I think it takes a while though, just try and build it up to the point where you, you have to, I think there's only so much one person can do with eBay reselling. If you want to expand it and grow it massively and earn a lot, a lot of money, I think you have to get other people involved. You need a partner or a girlfriend or whatever sort of in with you, helping you because I'm doing everything. I've got to do all the sourcing. I've got to do all the listing, testing, cleaning, posting. And it's a lot of work. So there's only so much one person to, can do. And we're doing YouTube and that as well. I basically have no free time. I'm always working. Literally seven days a week. So five days a week I'm in here doing posting and listing and all that. And then Saturday and Sunday, I'll be either selling at a car boot or buying at a car boot. I'm always driving off to pick stuff up for Facebook in the evenings. And any free time I get, I'm editing videos and stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm not, um, I was earning more before, but I enjoy this a lot more. I don't have a boss, I can do what I want. I enjoy going out to car boots, I enjoy selling stuff, listing stuff. Ozy, 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 I don't know what that means. Hello, Annabeth. Um, picking up mixed consoles at auction, plenty of controllers, all untested. Any advice? Yeah, um, if you're buying consoles, and controllers untested at auction, only bid up to an amount where you can still make money on the items, even if they don't work. So, what you want to do when you go to the auction to look at the stuff, take a photo of everything that's there. And then when you get home, you want to look up what everything sells for as spares repairs. So if you've got a controller and it will sell for um, a fiver, well, say it sells for a tenner broken. You don't want to be paying any more than a fiver for it. So you do that with every item, really. You add up what you what add up everything that it can sell for as spares. And then add all that up, add it all up to a total. And then what I normally do is half that amount. And that is what I'd pay for them items. Because then if I win it, <clears throat> I can at minimum double my money. 
I don't buy anything unless I can at least double my money, really. Otherwise, it's just not really worth doing. You can take a bit of a gamble because I find at auctions, that's what everyone does. They always add it all up, what the value is, then halve it. That's what most people will bid. Some people will bid a little bit higher than that. And to win it at an auction, you have to bid a little bit higher than half the value. What did I just put in there? Car. Um, but obviously you will be lucky with some of it. A lot of it probably will work. So you can probably afford to bid a little bit higher. But you want to check stuff first. So controllers, check all the buttons are pressing in all right. There's nothing rat no rattling or anything like that. What you can even do, if you can be bothered, is take a power bank with you with different cables and try and test some of it. So like PS3 controllers, PS4, plug them into your power bank with your cable and you can see if they turn on. Game Boys and DSs, anything like that. Take a power bank uh, and USB chargers for them consoles. You can test them before you buy them. That's something I'm going to start doing at Car Boots. I think it's going to be quite funny because <laughs> I'm going to go to Car Boot. I'm going to have a bag with like every charger, every cable, power banks. And when people are selling like DSs, little consoles, handhelds, I'm going to say, oh, do you know if this works? And a lot of people lie. I'll say, oh, yeah, it works. Yeah, I tested it. Yeah, it works. And then in front of them, I'm going to like pull all my chargers out, charge it. And then if it doesn't, <laughs> I'm going to have them on camera. I'm going to say, oh, sorry, I, th I thought you said it was working, mate. Make people, make liars look like idiots on YouTube. I think that would be good content. <clears throat> um, hello, Daddy. <laughs> I look like a model male. Well, thanks. I think anyone's ever said that to me before. Thank you very much. Fake news. What's fake news? The news is fake news. If that's what you mean. You from Aust Austria? No, from England. You look like Leonardo DiCaprio if he was born in a caravan. <laughs> I have had that one before. I've been I've been told I look like a Tesco value Leonardo DiCaprio, but I'll take that. I'll take that all day. Hello, we were never asked. How are you? <clears throat> Do I have a three DS charger for sale? I don't, unfortunately. Disc cleaner work again. Oh my god, that reminds me. I need to, I've got disc to do. Thanks, Jack. Someone sent me in all these. I've done half of them. I need to get on with them. Completely forgot. I've got two boxes to do. Thanks, Jack. Excuse me if it gets a bit noisy now, but I do need my disc cleaner on. So the disc cleaner isn't broken, it just, it keeps leaving compound on the discs. So it works, but I have to keep cleaning the compound off the disc afterwards, which is really annoying. So I've, I've got the, I rang them up, because I've got a warranty, they, the guys arranged for Parcel Force to come pick it up on Friday, and they're going to sort it out for me, it's something to do with the pump or something. It's an easy fix, I think, apparently. But yeah, I need to get <clears throat> about 40 discs done um, before Friday. So thanks for reminding me. Um, bum, bum, bum.
Um, oil cans sell well, yeah. They're very collectible. I do pick them up if I see them cheap at car boots. Vintage oil cans. Yeah, I need to get one like you, Jack. Shit, hang on. I just. Sorry, I accidentally deleted your comment. I love 80s. I didn't mean to do that. Trolls today. Any finds out in the bins? Um, yes. We found. Oh, I found so much, to be honest. I can't even remember most of it. Doing this. Look at that brand spanker. Beautiful. Yeah, I've got a lot of dumpster diving videos on the way. That is why I haven't been active on this channel for a few weeks. Is because I'm trying to trying to get that channel monetized first. And then I'll focus on both a bit more. If anyone needs discs doing, I'll show you a, a scratch one in a minute and then I'll show you it after so you can see what, what this machine can do. I do also clean the front of the disc as part of my service because sometimes they're a bit grubby. It's now in minty condition. Let's have a look at this one. Mm, it's not too scratched. I don't know if you can see that. You can see it. It's got a few scratches on it. I'll show you that when it's done. <coughs> yeah, um, last time I went out, we found a whole bin bag full of mobile phones in the charity shop old ones and new ones there's like new iPhones and like old Blackberries and Nokia 3210s and stuff a whole bag of them probably about 100 quids worth of phones probably even more than that actually if I sold them individually <clears throat> oh just made another sale let's pack that now box D Walt Disney Magical World Tour. Uh, this is a disc only game. I can get it out. Which I have made absolutely minty on my machine. That was scratched to death before. And I've sold that for eight pounds. When I post disc only, I put them in a DVD case, get a little bit of bubble wrap, and just put it in there. Stop it rattling around because sometimes in the post the disc will fall out of the, the spindle rattle around and then it will scratch it but if you do that it doesn't just take that up <coughs> we 
in a jiffy bag, nice and easy. Oh, I've got a question, Is I don't know if Jack's still here. Jack Dobbins, if you're still here. How much do you sell these for, if you're, if you're still watching? Disc only copies of Wii Sports. I've got these listed as a multi listing, uh, eight pounds free postage, minty discs. And I haven't had a single watcher, not a single bit of interest. But there's loads of solds for that same price, so I don't I don't understand that. Am I pricing it too high? Hello Sean Tay. Thanks for watching. Do a scouse accent. Uh, no, <laughs> I can't. Hello, Hungma. Uh, the retro figures that we found in the bin. My mate has listed them. Comes to like, I don't know, about 60, 70 quid, I think, in total. He's listed them all separately. I don't think he's sold any yet, though. Do you play £8 something? Yeah, I don't get it. I got £8 free postage. Resurface discs. Not a single bit of interest and they've been listed for about three weeks. I tried delisting them and relisting them, it doesn't not working. Do I play Pass I don't I can't even pronounce that and I've never heard of it. Yeah, that's true, Jack. Might just have to lower the price maybe. Keep forgetting what I'm posting, that was a disc, wasn't it? <clears throat> Large letter, what does it weigh? Hopefully not a lot. Come on, be under 100 grams. 985 grams, that's what I like to see. So that will cost £1.50. Lovely. Let me just wipe this and I'll show you how that came out. Can't wait until this machine stops spunking all over my discs. If you saw that before, that's what it looks like now. Minty, minty fresh. If anyone's interested, I do these for two pounds per disc plus postage. And I will check the disc before I put it in. If there's anything wrong with it, like a crack or any reason for it to uh, not be worth resurfacing, I won't do it and I won't charge. That one's all good, so I'm going to put that in on a 3 setting. Uh, <clears throat> label. Print. Hello Rocky.
is a ghost hunting game. Yeah, I've never heard of that. How are the bin rummages? <laughs> the bin rummages are fantastic. It's my new favourite hobby. I've had people comment and saying, oh, isn't it a bit desperate to be running around looking in bins for stock? I don't do it because I need to do it. I just do it because it's fun. And you make money while you're doing it as well, so it's a win-win. I don't have to do it. I get plenty of stuff for my business to sell anyway. And most of it just goes to the car boot sale. And we turn up with a massive van full every week and make a few hundred quid every time. So there's like hundreds of pounds worth of stuff sitting in bins. It's a no brainer. I may as well go and get it out. Yeah, something to do with the warp pump jack. I think he said there's something like might be air trapped in the system or something. Yeah, it's not damaged any discs. I spoke to the guy, he said it's a like a minor issue really. Should be easy to fix. Right, Sega Mega Drive game. I've got new viewers here, so I may as well show you stuff again. I got that sold for fourteen pounds, and it's in terrible condition. Overkill packaging. Can't help it. Can't help myself. Mate, I hate working about music on. recommend bin rummaging a lot of people think oh it's dirty and like but it actually isn't because we don't look in like food waste bins we go into retail parks and all their rubbish is like brand new stuff brand new packaging it's all clean the charity shops are pretty much the same as well they're like it's all pretty much clean stuff it's not like you're rummaging around in rotten food I will try that Jack, but I'll do that a bit later. Cheers for that, I'll reread that later. It's weird though, because look, sometimes it doesn't do it. That's not really got any um, compound on it, only in the center. Also Jack, you know these cloths? I find if you wipe a Blu-ray with that, it just leaves loads of like dust all over it. So annoying. Is there any way to stop that? Because in my listings, I take a photo of the disc. I want people to see how minty they are. But when it's covered in little specks of dust, it makes the photo look terrible. Have a minty minty disc. I think some of these are quite valuable. That one. Ooh.
Shit, I need to change the water. Morning, Gary. Yeah, that's a good point, Jack. I think I wouldn't even need to wipe them, would I, if the machine worked properly? I've added loads of new games to my collection. Absolutely loads. Almost every day I add like five new games. It's a bit annoying being a collector when you sell video games because you end up keeping it all. I'll be right back, I just need to get some water for my machine. Sorry about that. <clears throat> yeah, I've got, I've got my collection. It's it's annoying though because I've got nowhere to put it at the minute, so it's all just chucked in boxes, and I don't really know what I've actually got or not. So I'm going to get some IKEA shelves little billy bookcase shelf soon so I can actually display it all when I know what I've got what do I think of whatnot I think whatnot's great um, yeah it's a good way for sellers to earn quick money you obviously sell stuff for less but it's just you move it on fast good for people to buy because you get bargains that you can resell I don't really use it a lot because it's mostly clothes and stuff on there which is not something I really sell or buy I did think about trying it with games but Anything decent that I've got, I'd rather just put it on eBay and get the full price. I'm not, I don't care about selling stuff fast. When I sell on eBay games and stuff, I will put it, I'll look at the, the highest sold prices and I'll make everything I sell the same price as the highest sold prices. Um, and then I'll start at that anyway and then I'll just slowly lower the price over time. But everything sells eventually. I'd rather wait for a higher price sale than get a quick lower price sale. Right, I need to put the... Where's the juice? I mean, I'm not a Muslim, but happy Ramadan to you. What am I making? I'm making a cocktail. I'm gonna get pissed up. No, it's um, it's the water for my disc machine. You have to use distilled water, and you've got to put this water additive in it. Well, that's done. Oh fuck, I just spilled it all. I'm turning around and seeing something down. 
won't see a lot. Just one back. Oh. If anyone's thinking about getting one of these machines, don't put it in the wrong way because that's what happens. There was a game out of my collection, PS1. I stuck it in that way and it sanded all the label off. I'll leave it on here as a reminder not to do it again. Right. Four. Oh man, I wish I was making a drink. I mean, to be honest, that's the good thing about eBay reselling. If you want to get pissed up while you work, you can. I could easily get some beers in. Might get a little mini fridge in here. Just get pissed up while I work. That'll make up for the fact that I've not got any music on. <coughs> right, uh it's kind of box really, but I haven't got any. Oh yeah, I was going to do a giveaway. No one commented. Right, on my unlisted shelf, I've got loads of lower value games. PS1, Wii, um, Xbox 360, Xbox One and PS4 games. I'm giving away five games. I don't know how I'm going to work out who wins yet, but we'll figure that out as we go. Comment in the chat if you want five PS2 games, five 360 games, Wii games, Xbox One or PS3, or maybe one of each. Comment in the thing, and whoever gets the most comments, that's what the prize will be. But it's UK only. If you don't live in the UK, then don't bother. Because I'm not sending it abroad. Oh, I tried to find copyright bang. I don't know where to get copyright music that I don't have to download. Do I have worms? Uh, yes. I've got worms on the original Xbox. That's the only worms I've got. And I've cleaned the disc, I think. Yeah, minty disc. Right, we're chucking that in. That's going to go in the giveaway. I don't have 5X. That's, I think that's the only OG Xbox game I've got. I got that, but I'm keeping that. And I'm keeping that. And I'm keeping that. But that can go in the pot. So we've got four more games now. What does everyone want? One of each, PS4, PS4. I don't have any PS3 games. I sold them all with that console. Um, OG Xbox, yeah, that's the only OG one I've got. We'll chuck that in. Collection of dust, I've got loads of that. There you go, we'll you see that? You can chuck some dust in if you want. Five three there's gonna there's not gonna be any bangers, they're like it's they're all low low value games. It's like my bundle fodder pile. But I'll try and pick out some better ones. I will try and pick out some better ones. Or we could even I could even show you what I've got and then you can choose.
Yeah, I got. I'll tell you what, Jack. I'm chucking an AV cable as well. <laughs> All loads. If Jack wins, then I'll chuck in an AV cable. Just for Jack. GTA 5 on the PS3. Um, I haven't got that. I've got it on 360, I think. I think. I'm not giving PS1 games away. <laughs> I haven't got any anyway. Not for. Not that aren't in my collection. I mean, I'm not giving romantic videos away either. Mm -mm -mm. You have to subscribe to my OnlyFans for that. Right. Another disc. Minty, minty. I've got so many, I've got about 40 discs to get through today. Well, before Friday. quite scratched and put that in on a four setting Jack do you ever you know when the machine tells you your pads are uh, need changing do you ever just not change them and keep using them because I've done that on my black buffing wheel I've used the same buffing wheel for about three cycles and it's still fine get the most out of them, seeing as they're like 80 quid for four of them. Right, I'm gonna check the chat. Jack, do you wanna buy these? Put each brand new and sealed, they sell on Amazon for 22. Right, we've got mixed opinions on the games to give away. That's a definite, we're giving that away. Worms 3D. Let me see what else I've got. You don't see anything in there that fancy. Tetris. Well, the Switch games. Mario and Rabbids, Sparks of Hope. Brand new and sealed, eight of them. Let's see what other games we've got. Got just a few.
we're going to get any work done today because you got. Just give them all away. No, that's not happening. Uh, PS1 games with cracked cases. I, I've got a stockpile of uncracked cases that I keep. If I get FIFA's and fodder games, who wants to be a millionaire? I keep the cases, throw the rest of it away. And then I've got like, uh, I've got a stockpile of uncracked cases. I pretty much just use them for my own collection. Every game in my PS1 collection is uncracked. Um, but yeah, I'd recommend just literally take cases off of crappy low value games and just keep them. So when you get better ones, you can swap them. If not, um, I'd sell them as a job lot maybe just mention that some of the cases are cracked right there's a lot going on at the minute I need to remember what I'm doing another minty minty disc what's the chat saying What I'll do, I'll probably just pick some some of the better games out of here for the giveaway. I don't mind. Minty fresh. Um, buying eight pounds for Amazon. Okay, fair enough. That was very, very scratched. Let's get that looking like new. Um, <clears throat> I've been finding PS1 games in the bin, cases and that. If a charity shop has a PS1 case that's got an inlay missing or a disc missing, they just lob them all in the bin. If you haven't seen my video of that, go and watch it on Bin Flippers. It's my best video I've put out, I think, on there. Uncracked. It just means the case doesn't have cracks in it, because those cases crack very easily. Mate, I missed the days going to car boot sales, right? It's probably going back about 15 years. I used to go around car boots and buy PS1 games for 20p each. I'd go up to sellers selling them. I wouldn't even ask them how much they want. I'd just say, if I buy all of these, we you doing for 20p each? And they'd almost always say, yeah. <laughs> and I was buying like Crash Bandicoot, Silent Hills, Final Fantasies stacks like every car boot I went to I was coming home so many for so cheap I miss them days you want my Wii 15 years ago I was 16 Do I use toothpaste to clean them? Absolutely not. Who's that? Toothpaste just makes them worse. I don't know why people even do that.
yeah, dumpster diving isn't for everyone. Certainly not for everyone. But I'm just going to pick some games. I'm going to pick a selection. I'll try and pick some better ones. Uh, what we got? Mario. Mario, Mario. Complete. This is a little scratched. That will work. Uh, try and do one of each. So. We've got in here. Hot Wheels, I think that's a good one. I'm not too sure. I don't think it's a bad one. Also complete. I'm on a business account, um, Iron Ian, so that I can do as many listens as I want. And I pay my taxes so I can do, I can sell as much as I want. I don't think there's any such thing as an unwanted GameCube game. <laughs> and I don't have any in a minute anyway. But uh, I'd recommend reselling. I absolutely love it. Right, there's two games for the giveaway. Where's the other one gone? So far, we've got, and you can win these. I don't know how yet, but someone's going to win these. Mario and Sonic. Uh, Hot Wheels. Worms 3D. We need two more. So let's have a look. What else have we got? Grand Theft Auto 4. Maybe. That's not a bad one. Let's see if there's any better. Probably the best one out of the 360, so yeah. GTA 4, one more. What have we got? game no manual but I think that's a nice little selection Mario and Sonic Hot Wheels um, Worms 3D GTA 4 and Spyro a new beginning so if you want to win them how are we going to do it <clears throat> The last thing I need to pack is a PlayStation 3. Mm. I'll tell you how we're going to draw the winner when, when we get to it, in fact. But yeah, those are the games, so if you want to win them, stay tuned. Hello Max, how's it going mate? Which boot sale was that? Sorry, was it Finmere? I get a lot, I meet a lot of people at the boots. It would have been Finmere or Aylesbury. Yeah, I'm doing well. Maximus, how are you? Hello, Odd One. If anyone has any unwanted Rule of Rose games, I'd be interested as well. If you've got them just lying around, you know, I'll take them off your hands. Scratch disc. 
that's sorted. Number four. Uh, the only thing with that machine is quite time consuming. But it just works in the background while I'm doing other stuff. Do I have another GTA? I don't I don't think so. Uh, yeah. I've got Vice City. I'll chuck that in as well. So six games now. Can have that one as well. Right, let me put these back. Right, I need to get some work done. You're all distracting me. Do PlayStation, Xbox, Classics, Platinum sell well? Not really. Oh yeah, Aylesbury, yeah, I remember you, mate. How's it going? Yeah, we're um, in... Um, in the PAL region, which is what I'm in, Europe, well we're not actually in Europe anymore, but um, England, the cases are blue. I think yours are black aren't they, and you have red labels if you're in NTN, NTSC. Windsor Tom's Tan Hair Warehouse, <laughs> I'm a long way off that mate, long way. Yeah, I remember Max. I need some void film now as well. <laughs> uh, so I've got loads more. Oh yeah, cheers, mate. Right, there's 26 people watching. Give a video, give this, give this a like. Help me out. And then someone's going to win all them as well. Shortly. But yeah, cheers for watching the Nido Realm. Thank you. See you soon. Right, let's pack this. Uh, hmm. In fact, do it. Does the job. I think that'd be alright. The void fill around the edges. Fine. Oh no! Fuck. Well, this machine's got a drainage pipe. And that's been out for the last 10 minutes. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, look. It's leaked all over my floor. Ah. It's annoying. Hello Riptide, how's it going? Thanks for the sub, I appreciate it. It is free, so if anyone else is not subbed, please subscribe. Hello Damien. Hello Riptide, I don't know if I said hello already. How is everyone doing? Right, Void Phil. Out. 
Yeah, I could have had worse problems. I hope I don't do that on a customer's disc. Someone sent me like, I think Silent Hill and stuff on the rare ones. So I need to be extra careful on them. That moving about. Whoever buys this is going to think that they've ordered a pizza. Hmm, it's not very good. Not very good. Let's try that again. First of all. this out hello Damien my day's going very well thank you how are you can't remember if I showed that before beautiful minty disc again if anyone wants some doing send me a message on Instagram two pound per disc Hello Myron, I've been subbed since you first showed the shed, oh wow, cheers mate, appreciate that, thanks for watching, thanks for sticking with it, right, PS1 games, I've got to do these, look, they're a little bit more, they resurface just the same, the problem is, because the disc is black, any slightest little touch of that will scratch it again um, so you've got to be so careful not to like even this cloth which is designed to wipe the disc without scratching it can still scratch it so but yeah if you can look at that I don't know where you can see most PS1 games look like that that one's not too bad but I'll show you that in a minute as well when it's done Right, uh, I need to do this properly. Hello, Benjamin. Right, let's try this again. That didn't work very well last time. Getting a lot of new viewers in this stream right, I'm going to put that in there and then Next time I go dumpster diving and find like mega mega haul, I might do a live stream on YouTube for that. That'd be quite cool. Should have done that when I found all the PS1 games in the bin. I'm trying to pack a wooden plane. chat in that for us because my channel isn't that big <laughs> people usually watch it after it's gone live to be fair I always get like a lot less work done when I do live streams
that'll do. What does that weigh? If anyone's got any questions or anything you want to ask me, drop them in the chat. So I'm not just stood here in silence. And then very shortly, do the giveaway if you want to win them. Where am I from? Uh, Bedfordshire in England. I'm packing, that was a vintage wooden plane, woodworking plane. Under one kg, that's what I like to see. I was a poet and I didn't know it. Another buyer that can't do their own address correctly. Print label. Right, we're getting there. Okay, that PS1 game's done. I hope you remember what that looked like before. Look at that. Absolutely minty, minty, minty. Absolutely love this machine. <laughs> Clean off the front. Beautiful. Right, so in a minute, I'm going to weigh something that I'm posting. And whoever guesses what the weight's going to be, whoever's the closest, is going to win six games. Uh, but only if you live in the UK. I'm not posting outside of the UK. So we've got Mario and Sonic on the Wii. Hot Wheels on the PS2, Worms 3D on the Xbox, GTA 4, GTA Vice City and Spyro. I'm going to be doing that in about 10-15 minutes. So stay tuned. Mm, that needs to... Three. Why did I start reselling? So basically, <coughs> obviously I used to be a carpenter, as a lot of you may already know. I was working for someone else when I was learning carpentry. I worked for him for about six years and I got sick of working for someone else. So I, I started my own carpentry business, uh, self-employed, working for myself, working in people's houses and stuff. Um, because I thought, yeah, I don't have a boss now. I'm not my own boss. I can do what I want, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, after a while, it turned out that the customer became my boss. Because I had to do what they wanted, how they wanted, and which was fine. But I don't like having a boss. So that's what it became. Got absolutely sick of that. But I started reselling. Because I was working for myself, I didn't always have work booked in every day. It's hard to get work for every day booked in. So I started watching Retro Rummage on YouTube. I was already buying gaming stuff on Facebook and car boots for my collection and stuff. I was already doing that. Then I saw Retro Rummage on YouTube. Um, so I started watching him and that got me into watching Ricky Resales and John Luke. Which made me realize that there's a thing called reselling that people do it as a full-time job 
all part time. So when I didn't have carpentry work booked in, I started doing reselling on the side. And then I very quickly realized that I can, I don't even need to do the carpentry, I can just do reselling. Because there's no shortage of stuff to sell. There's always stuff out there to sell and there's always people that want to buy it. Whereas carpentry, you have to go out and find a customer that has loads of money because my service wasn't cheap. And it's, yeah, and things are getting tight these days. So it was getting harder and harder to get work for carpentry. So I thought, you know what, I'm just going to quit and do reselling. And it's the best thing I ever did. Absolutely love it. Uh, right, how am I going to pack that? I oh, know exactly how to pack that. These boxes from Next are the best boxes. I find these when I'm dumpster diving. They have whole bins full of them. And you literally, that's the thickest type of box that you can get. Really thick, durable and strong. Perfect little small parcel size. I need to get some more because these are running out. But these things are wicked. Just catch up in the chat. Uh, how long have I been streaming? Uh, 99 minutes, I think. So I'm going to finish packing my orders. And then I'm going to do the giveaway. And then I'm probably going to go because I need to get, I need to get some stuff listed. And I don't know if I can really stay on here while I do that. I'm, I might be able to actually, I'll we'll see, we'll see. You don't know what the item is yet, so don't guess the weight yet. <laughs> I'm not packaging cocaine, unfortunately. What, the location of what? I'm not, I'm not too, I'm not gonna that. Um, how much for what? Johnny. Uh, I do look, I don't really like Vinted. It's too difficult. You have to just live on there to find anything. I haven't got time, really. Look at that. Absolutely mint. Love it. Summer said hi. That'll be ten pound, please. Right, this is the last disc from this customer. Also, pretty scratched. What game is that? Getaway. Gateway to Glimmer Spyro. That has not been sur resurfaced before, I don't think. Well, it might have been actually. Mm, let's be careful with that one. Where's my glasses? I need to check that. Sometimes if the disc has already been resurfaced and then you do it again, you can eat through the data layer. It's hard to tell. Where's that? I think that's been done before. doing I sold that 
Pogs, you remember Pogs from the 90s? Empty tube, about a tenner I think I've got for that. Yeah, Vinny's good for, depends what you sell though, I don't, it's good for clothes and stuff, but I don't sell clothes. It's good to hear, Winky, thanks for that. What are we doing? I'm packing my eBay orders that I sold for my eBay business. Okay, um, that goes every two ninety-four. Right, the giveaway is coming soon. I got what's coming next. These are the giveaway prize. You have to live in the UK, otherwise, if you win and you're not in the UK, then I'm going to have to do it again because I can't send outside the UK. But these are the prize. And I'll explain how to win that very shortly. Let's finish doing this. My eBay called Tom's Tap. We're from Phoenix, nice. You live in YK. Uh, what's that? YK. I don't know where that is. Yeah, I can see exactly how much I made on items on eBay, it's easy. You click on something and it brings up the postage you paid, the fees you paid, blah blah blah, and what you're left with. And then you just take off whatever you paid to see if it's worth it or not. But I get all my stuff, well, a lot of my, I got a contact where I just get massive job lots of stuff for very cheap. And usually I'll sell like two or three items that will make back all the money I paid for it all and then I've got like loads of stuff left which is just all profit so the only fees um, out of it and then it's all profit then <clears throat> but that pop tube that came in that one of the job lots I think I paid about 200 quid for the whole lot and the value of the stuff I got comes to like probably about 1200 quid, 1300 and I've sold a couple of bits, made all my money back so that pog tube was all profit every, almost every sale I made today and I've posted today is all profit apart from one thing I think so yeah it's very much worth it say your name what is your name happy birthday oh you live in the UK all oh, right yeah I mean hello Joe shout, shout out to the shout outs yeah my day is going great
Hello Cam, how's it going? Thanks for watching. Alright, that disc. That's the last PS1 disc for that customer. And that's come out very nice. I'll show you it in a minute. Actually, I tell you what, I'm going to be doing the giveaway. I might do it on Instagram because it's difficult to do on YouTube. Because what happens is you get people, you can't direct message anyone on YouTube. You have to do it on Instagram. So if you want to win them games, what's that disc? Last one. Minty, minty. Yeah, if you want to win these, I'm going to do the giveaway on Instagram after this live stream. So if you're not following me on Instagram, it's Tom underscore Tat underscore, or you go onto one of my other videos on this channel, and the link will be in the description. And I'm going to do the giveaway for these on there because then I can direct message the winner which I can't do on YouTube. So you'll have to go over there, follow me on Instagram. I'll do a live stream after this one and then we'll get them gone. Might be your discs. Depends. I've got several on at the minute. What's your name? Oh, no, I'll tell you. Did you send them on a spindle? If, they, if you did, then they're yours. Well, I've just I've just finished them ones. Okay, if that was Instagram. Mm. I'll try and uh, try and do it on here. The problem is, if you don't have Instagram, I can't, I can't even get your address or anything. You have to have Instagram, really, because <laughs> there's no other way for me to message anyone that wins. Games, little little gem. Sorry, I get a lot of messages. I, f I forget it's what. Yeah, I did. I did get them. I kind of regret getting them though. <laughs> because on eBay, they sell for about 16, including postage. And the postage is £3. I paid £10. So that leaves me with 13 After paying fees, it's like breaking even. Um, if I was on Amazon, they'd be good. You could ship them off to Amazon, sell them for twenty-two pounds each. But I'm not on Amazon. I'm gonna probably try and return them. To be honest. Um. Right. What we got in here? Okay, we'll do the giveaway on here then. 
to do it on here. Right, what we got in this one? So this is a customer sent me these to be resurfaced. Wait a minute. Hang on. What the fuck? This has been sent back to me. These have been, I've already done all these. Have I? These are the ones I've done. Oh no. No, no, no. My machine is fantastic. I don't know how long you've been watching. I've just done all them discs. I'll show you. Is it a PS1 silent here? If these are yours, I'll, 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 these might be yours. Silent here, let's have a look. Silent here. Critical condition. Oh yeah, that'll sort that out. Easy peasy, mate. Easy peasy. That'll be minty, minty, minty. I'll sort all of them out, don't you worry, I'll do that right now for you, look. Just so the stream can see. Silent Hill. That's how scratched it is. Not too bad to be honest. I've had it a lot worse. And... Put that in now. Right, that will be done in about four minutes. So I'll make discs. I think I'll just cut out then. Yeah, I'm making a start on yours. In fact, I'm going to stick all them on this spindle. They're easier to take on and off. Yeah, I'm going to return them games, I think. I did look on eBay before I bought them, and they were... Um, there are some selling... Well, there's some listed for like 22, but there's not really any sold, so I should have checked a bit better, really. Hopefully I can return them. If not, I'll flog them at the car boot sale for 15 quid each. And then it's cash, and I'm not paying any fees. Fifty cent, that's a good game on the 360. I will keep all these sleeves as well, I'll put them back in the sleeves. <clears throat> yeah, I'll be able to sort these all out mate, these will all be absolutely minty when I'm done with them. That one's pretty bad. like laser burn or something on that one but I'll sort that out not to worry yeah it is a good deal just not so much if you're selling on eBay if you did Amazon I am gonna be joining Amazon at some point and literally I'd go to Amazon Go to Argos, buy a load of it. I would have bought more, to be honest. And then you put them in a box, ship them off to Amazon. They do all the every, all the work. They they sell it, they ship it, they do everything. Um, and they sell on Amazon for twenty two. So it is a good price, but I'm not on Amazon yet. Yeah, that's alright, thanks for the tip mate. I will, I will sell them. I will sell. I will just probably take them to the car boot sale. Even if I sell them for like 13, 14 quid each, people will buy them because they're brand new. 
and it's cheaper than in the shop. Hit the like button if you haven't already. I'm doing a giveaway like in a minute. Sorry for taking ages. Everyone keeps distracting me. <coughs> That's that is what game. I don't understand what what that means. I don't sell vinyls really. I don't know anything about them. eBay fees are huge, but it's still worth it if you can get the stuff cheap enough, which I do. Yeah, you can get vouchers. I did look at CEX. So what I could do is trade them into CEX and then use the vouchers to buy something like what I normally do is buy like a Pokemon game or something uh, like a DS one Pokemon Black or Black 2 something like that because you can buy it from CEX for like 75 and then sell it on eBay for 115 I've done that a few times there's a few games you can buy at CEX they're underpriced you buy them with vouchers and then you can sell them for more on eBay I might do that but then they'll unseal them all that's the problem I'm gonna just try them at the car boot I think <laughs> yeah I can't spell <laughs> let's turn that into an E there we go Not very good at spelling. Right, Silent Hill. This is a live, you get to see this being done live. Let me just give that a little clean. Let's get the compound off of it. Right, you ready? You ready to see your... Hang on. Three, two, one. And now that is absolutely minty, minty, minty. Looks like brand new. That's come out very, very well. I do also <clears throat> clean the fronts of the discs as part of my service get off any fingerprints or dirt or whatever the cleaning solution there you go literally like brand new now next one <clears throat> GTA Liberty City, very scratched, that will come out like new as well. Well, I do apologise, I need to get on, I keep getting distracted. Let's get this giveaway done. So first, I need to pack this. And then I'll explain how you can win the games. Consoles, man. So easy for them to get broken in the post. You use so much in the fields. Oh, 
This sold for about £95. PS3. Not a backwards compatible one. Just a normal one. Hello Andrew, how you doing? Thanks for watching. I'm not a magician, the machine is. Right, for anyone just joining, I'll keep saying this, I don't want people to miss out. I'm giving these games away shortly. So if you want to win them, stay tuned. I'm going to be doing that in about, once this is packed, I'll be doing it. <clears throat> I've been live for two hours. What time is it? Okay, I need a nice strong box for this. <clears throat> Let me just see what I can find. Nice, what tape dispenser did you get? Right, this box looks perfect. It's a bit big though. It's nice and strong. Right, I think. Just do a little test fit. Console. Got all the games in. Yeah. Lewis. Lewis. What, you bought one of these? Anyone that hasn't got one of these, you need one. That's the best tape dispenser. pound sale so I'm gonna wrap the games up as well. I do not want any returns. I've had enough returns lately. Which is annoying me. Yeah have you used it yet? It's, it's a very good tote gun. Another disc done. Absolutely mint. Mm, slight swirl marks in that. I'm going to do that. Put that with a buffer again. So 
and turns it leaves little swirls on it. It's not an issue because I can just get them out. That's fine. Right, giveaway is very, very shortly. As soon as this is packed, doing the giveaway. So don't go anywhere. There's only 17 people watching now, so you've got a nice chance to win. I'll get them sent out today. The winner has to be in the UK. Otherwise you're not getting them, because I can't send outside the UK, unfortunately. people now so 23 people got a chance to win six games for free consoles it's difficult to do it so well that they don't get broken
Right, giveaway in approximately two or three minutes. Hello Will, hello Tony. You're just in time for the giveaway. Which is these games. I'm going to end the stream with a nice giveaway. Giveaway time. How many people are watching? 35, right. So the giveaway, I'm not doing a backflip, unfortunately. I'm giving away six games. Right, this is the giveaway. Spyro, a new beginning on the PS2. GTA Vice City, PS2. GTA 4 on the 360. Worms 3D on the original Xbox. Uh, Hot Wheels on the PS2. Mario and Sonic on the Wii. So there's six games there. Right. So in order to enter, you have to be within the UK. Because I'm not posting them outside the UK. So if you win and you're outside the UK, then I'll... I'll just have to do it again because I can't post outside UK. So, this is how you win. Whoever is the closest to guess how much this package weighs, whoever is the closest, I'll give you about, I don't know, 60 seconds. And then whoever's the closest will win. So this is a PS3 fat model and it comes with... Uh, let me just check. PS3 fat, 23 games, controller and cables. That's the package. Whoever can guess the weight of that wins. Starting now. When that clock on my clock gets to six, I will pause it and then whoever's closest will win. So, get your thinking caps on. When, there's, when the clock gets to 12, 6 minutes past 12 on my computer, I'm going to put end in the chat. Any comments after end won't be counted. So make sure you get them in before. Right, that's it. Unfortunately, any comment after that is now not counted. Moment of truth. Right. Eight point nine six kg. So let's have a look and see who won. I think seven point two five is winning so far. Right, 16 LB, I don't know what that means. Let me just check, because that could be 19. Yeah, I think the winner 
Hang on, I'm not very good at maths. Let me let me just check. I think the win is Joshua. Well done, Joshua. So you've just won all those games. Now, Josh, have you got Instagram? Because the best way to get these is to message me on Instagram and then um, like you can give me your address and stuff. Now, before anyone tries it and tries to pretend to be Joshua, don't bother because it won't work. There's a way I can check that you're not Joshua, so don't even try. Jason, his comment was too late. Any comment after my end comment, that's when the minute was up, unfortunately. Right, Josh, so you have got Instagram. Message me on Instagram. Send me a message. If you go in, link, go into one of my other videos on this channel, my Instagram link is in the description. I hope you're inside the UK. If you are, very well done to you. Those will be sent out to you today. <clears throat> let me just... Let me just confirm before I end the stream. Um... Josh, can you just... Yeah, I got your message. Well done, mate. Cool. Right, I'm going to end the stream there. I've got some work to do now. Congratulations to Joshua. Thank you all for watching. Make sure you hit the like button before you leave. It helps me out massively. Subscribe as well if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one.